Hi everyone, it's Gail and it is Scrappy Saturday. I am coming to you from my frosty cold craft room. Oh my gosh, it'll warm up. We'll get going and it'll warm up. So today we are going to do Franken paper. I had a request from a viewer to do Franken paper. I went back. My um, first video on this was five years ago. I can't believe it. So we're going to just, so we're going to play with a little of that. So let's do it. Uh, let's say hi and hugs to Mary Jo, Janine, Polly, and Lisa. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, let's do this thing. Okay, so Franken paper, first of all, let me explain what it is. Taking your scraps and making a full sheet of paper again. And um, I did not invent it. Um, I don't know who did, but um, I have my process for doing it. So I will, I will share that. And it's called Franken paper because it's kind of like Frankenstein, bits and pieces taken, putting together, and making making something whole, like a scary monster or a piece of paper. So let's let's get going here. Let's see what we have. Um, I'm just going to grab pieces of paper. Uh, this is all Tim Holtz paper, so it's two-sided. You can do it two-sided or you can do it with one side. I think maybe we'll just, we'll just do this and then maybe we'll do one that is, um, oh, here's a good one. Then maybe we'll just do one that's uh, one-sided if I have enough. I might not have enough scraps, but I can show you anyway how I would do it. This is cool. Let's do that. Okay. Now your papers are going to overlap a little bit. And that is a good thing. Let's see. I could do some... some bigger pieces too. Like, I don't know. So it's just kind of building a bit of a collage in a way here. That's what we're doing. This is not quite thick enough for there, is it? Oh gosh, not quite. Because you got to overlap a little bit. So Maybe we won't use that one. Maybe we have a thicker one somewhere. Oh, there's good. There's a good one. Might have to go this way. Yep. So I'm using just a piece of white cardstock as my template. That is not going to be part of the finished paper. Okay, let's see what else do we have. And this. This might be good right here. Yep. And what else? Uh, uh oh, excuse me. Yep, it had to happen. You know it had to happen. Oh, here's a good one. And I need one for white there. Look at this. Got a couple of options here. I'm going to use that one. Okay, so there we've got it kind of built. Now what I'm going to do is glue just kind of the edges where things overlap. So, um, and I'm just going to put really um, a few dots of glue. Nothing, nothing too much because I don't want um, we're going to sew this, so I don't want a whole bunch of bulky, a whole bunch of bulky, um, bulky bits. 
and I just keep kind of pressing on things to try and make it, you know, as, as straight as I can. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna, well, I'm just gonna put a dot of glue like so and hope that that, that that holds it well. There we go, there, okay. Um, let's just gonna pull those up for a minute and get this, get this put down. So this one I can kind of glue here because it's going to, it's not just a tiny edge of the paper that's going over, it's the whole, you know, that whole section. Okay. So then I think we'll pull this up, straightening as we go, straightening, straightening, okay. And then I'm gonna just put the dots on there. Okay, there's that. And then this one, let's see, I can put there and I can put here. The art glitter glue will work well because it, it adheres quickly. So this one I can kind of go on my corners like so, I think. Okay. So there we go. We're going to let that dry, but now you see it's kind of all it's kind of all attached together. I just don't want it to be stuck on my paper. See, it's all attached together. So I'm going to let that dry really well and then um and then I I will show you some of the sewing. So let's see if perhaps I have some one-sided so I can show you that let's see here um i honestly i don't know what i've got in my scrappage let's see okay here's some here's some white edges here what do we have here oh yes it's okay Okay, and then these are as well. Okay, let's see what else. It's mostly two-sided I've got going on here. Oh, here's a bunch. Here's a bunch. Okay, I think we'll, I think we'll have enough to play with here. Um. The colors don't go together really, so there's that. This one really doesn't go, but this this is kind of light paper, uh, lightweight. These are a little more card stocky. Maybe I'll just, maybe we'll just kind of go like this to start out with. And um, let's talk about what to do with these. What do we, what do we, you know, why do we make these? Well, you can have it as a page, uh, a signature page. Um, I'm just looking for one that kind of goes goes a little bit better. Maybe this one, which is nice. Um, yeah, so a signature page or, I mean, you could even do a cover if you did heavy paper and... Um, you know, maybe you would Mod Podge it or something so that it's even, even more, even stronger, something like that. Okay, what about this? 
over here. Okay, I'm just gonna that one here. But it is a good way to use up your scraps. Um, another thing I've thought is you could you could use as your template um, a different size and use it as a piece of ephemera. You could do that too. I'm just going to add that there just to break that up a little bit. Um, maybe I'll add a little chunk of this too, just since I use those big pieces, we'll just, okay. Now I'll just put that kind of like right there, just to break it up a little, or do I want it here? I want it there. Okay. That's fine. Let's, let's do our, our little dots of glue. Let's put this one on because it's going to kind of, and I'm using all square scraps here, but you can use torn scraps for this too if you want to. So yeah, it's, there's all sorts of possibilities. The technique though is what the technique is, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's put some dots here and then just kind of along the end black so okay get that all squared up there okay and then this one so this one will go no we'll go here and here okay just remember you don't want to glue it down onto your oops you don't want to glue it down onto your template okay so we are glued and now if we turn it over you will see oops come on you stay stuck you that is not sticking well stick into the template that's just exactly what i told you not to do that is so close that's why okay so what i'm going to do is just glue this and to there okay um when we turn it over you'll see it's all all white. Oop. I did the same thing with that one. Okay, there we go. A couple of glue goobers on my template. So there's our piece. Now, because it's all white, what I'm going to do is do this side as well. So let's, let's go here with that. I love this piece. Let's, let's put a whole bunch of that there. Let's cut it off a little bit. So I'm going to need something under this one because it barely, it barely um, touches that piece there. We can cut that off later. Okay. Um, this one goes better here. So let's go there. Again, that doesn't go over it very much. So we're going to have to add some pieces to kind of pull it together. 
let's see we've got got this one that we can just go right there and that will kind of glue everything together I think I'd like a piece of this it's kind of right there I like this side better than the other side isn't that funny so before you sew you kind of have to decide which side you like the best put that right in there just to kind of hold that okay so first thing I'm gonna do is put some glue dots on this We're just going to go down the sides. Okay. And I'll line that up with the bottom. And that should kind of hold that together. This will hold this together. And this, I'm going to put you want it like that. I think I might. Okay. Okay. Okay, so there we go. So now this piece is two-sided. So that's how you handle if you've got white scraps. Okay. We will set that aside to dry. Then the other thing I wanted to show you is this. Let's grab a piece of, oops, crashing into things down below my desk. Let's grab a piece of coffee dyed cardstock. And um, let's cut this let's see let's just cut it in fours so five and a half this way and then um Four and a quarter this way. Four and a quarter. Okay, so those are prepared. Then what I want to do is take the template and do the same. So five and a half. I just want to make template for this um, and four and a quarter okay so now my template is the same size as as the journal card right so let's make one this size these are two-sided so I think I'm going to just go like that, and then, ooh, that's pretty. I could wait till it's... I could wait till it's um, done and trim that off too, doesn't matter. Okay, what else do we have for, for scraps? We've got this one. Hmm, I'm just deciding how I want it. Let's 
just cut this off. Okay, there we go there. And we have here. And maybe we'll go here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use that, this green piece. That's the kind of nice thing about um, the two-sided is you, you've you got options. You can flip it over if you want to. Okay. I think that's fine. Let's go with that. Okay. So I am just going to take this off for the moment. We're going to put some glue here. And once again, squaring up. Like so. Okay, and then this one, just gonna put some glue here. Square up. Okay, that one. And then this one. I think I'll put that like that so it's kind of over that one. So really I can go on three sides, I think. Okay. So there is that one. Then we're going to take it off the template. I'll sew this. And then after it's sewn, I'll back it on to this, making a nice journal card, okay? Got a little bit of glue on there. Okay, probably want that to dry a little bit. Let's make one of those with the uh, Tim Holtz while that's drying. And then we'll grab the sewing machine and do a little bit of that. We'll see, I don't know how much um, thread I have, of course, because I didn't plan that. How much thread do I have on my bobbin? Always a question. Okay, let's, let's do a Timmy one. Ooh, I do like that. Okay, because I do have some smaller pieces here. This is a nice one. Let's see. And that's a good size, isn't it? Maybe we'll do this one over here. Oh, not quite long enough. one's long enough, but I don't like it as much. How about this one? Yeah, let's do that one. Okay, and then we need, need something across there. Let's see what I have here. I'm going to go like that with that one. Okay, so that and that will take off for the moment. This one we're going to attach here.
Okay. This one's just gonna sit here and we're gonna glue over the top of it. This is actually a piece of a master board, is what this is. But be a great way to use it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put a couple here. Couple here, couple here. See how that does. Get on there straight. Okay. Did that. And then this, I'm just going to cut this off. And we're going to put that there. So I can, can kind of put a little dot there. And then, and then I'm just going to hold this and just kind of put a couple dots under here. So there's a Tim Holtz one. So then, of course, we have another thought, which is, what if we grab, let's grab this and we can do a tag shaped one. So I guess that tells you belly bands, pockets, whatever you can, tags, journal cards, and just, and just make whatever. I'm going to go like there with that. Um, So I bet you're getting the drift of this part. Put it together on a template and, ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I feel like I need some bigger pieces to kind of anchor it. Um, what do I have? What do I have? Up there and another strip. This is a great way to use strips though. Oh, that's not big enough. Here's one, I think. Ooh, how about a little red? Okay, so those are going to be kind of our base pieces. I think I'm going to glue that. And then glue this on here. Kind of a fun way to use scraps, isn't it? dots on you. Get that straightened up again. Okay, and then this is barely going to Barely going to fit, but I think we'll be okay. And then this one. There we go. Okay. So that's just a tag shape. So whatever your imagination 
wherever it can take you. Okay, I'm going to clean up my scraps just a, t a little bit here. And, um, and let's do some sewing because that's the next, the next part is sewing. Um, okay, this will be the base that I will glue this on after it's sewn. Okay, so I have my bases up here. Okay. Sewing machine. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to use um, a zigzag. And I am going to, for the for the journal cards, like this one. Let's see, which one did I do first? Did I do this one first? I think so, maybe it's more dry. Okay, so you gotta decide which side you like better. I think this side, okay. And I am gonna make a smaller, whoop, a smaller, zigzag stitch on this and so now I'm just going to I think I'll go around the edges first and then and then I'll do the inside so I'm just going to cut that so it's even all right let's just do this thing where's my foot feed oh it's clear over there come here you all right do this thing. I'm using black thread. Hopefully that will show up well for you. around this one. Let's do that. On this one I've gone kind of on the inside of this because it's it's um, plain but you can also like go over let's see how do I explain this go here 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 too if you want to um, and that will actually probably hold it a little more so than the way I've done these. see one more spot that I want to that I want to sew on which is let's see here which is right here and right here so just a couple little spots And 
And on these cards, they're going to be backed, so they're going to be glued onto. Um, they're going to be glued onto the backing, and so I'm not back stitching to knot them at all. Which on the paper, if you're going to put it in a signature, I would do that. I would. Um, I would double stitch it so that it ties it off. But I don't think that's necessary on this one. Okay. <laughs> the, the threads get so full of electricity in the winter, it's crazy. Okay. So we have ourselves a piece of Franken paper. If I can get all the threads off of it. Okay. Let me just move this for a second. There it is, Franken paper. Now I think this would be super cute with a label with a word right there or something like that. So let's go ahead now and put this on the backing. And I am just going to glue the backing only because it'll be easier than <laughs> all the all the stitching. Okay, line her up. There we go. I might have to Might have to clamp this a little bit. Let's do it. Just to make sure the edges hold well. It's um, because of the stitching, it wants to wants to curl up a little bit, but we're not gonna let it. Want it to be nice and clamped down. Oh, this edge is pretty good. A little bit right here. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so that can dry. Um, anybody see what I did with my... There it is. <laughs> okay. So basically, we got we got that one completely finished. Let's do um, one of the let's sew one of the big pieces. Let's do this one. Okay. I actually like this side better, so I'm gonna have it be the the top, the front. I don't know, however you would say that. And again, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the um, the zigzag. Let's see. Do I want to just go around it first? I think I will. Just make sure those edges are good. And then on this one, I'm gonna back stitch just to to hold it because it's not gonna be glued to anything.
to move this closer to me. I'm running into my shelf. will hold together better as I do the inside I think by um, sewing around the outside we're all the way around the outside um, now I think I'm gonna just to conserve thread I'm going to put myself back up to a little bit bigger stitch now I'm gonna go around this and I'm gonna on this one I'm going to go back and forth on the edge of the paper just so Like my husband has lunch ready so I'm gonna have to stop but um, we I think you're getting the idea oh this one kind of goobered it's cuz it didn't lap over enough so you know what I'm going to do to fix that is I'm going to put another piece of paper. Put another, but just a little square of paper. I'll hurry up and do do that just to show you because it wasn't gonna wasn't gonna hold very well. So I'm just going to put this piece of paper over that and then um, sew around it. So how about I'll work on finishing these and show you tomorrow what, what we did. But at least you know, you know the process from finishing this guy. So yeah, so it's fun to do. I, I s suggest you give it a try. Okay. It just has to lay down there. Let's sew it real quick. Sorry, Mike. I'm on a roll here. Oh, it's wet. I can't. Okay. We're going to call it a call it a video. So thanks everybody so much for watching. I hope this answers the question from the viewer about what is Franken paper. It is just making a piece of paper out of scraps putting together a whole new piece of paper. So hope that helps. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll answer if I can. So have a grateful day, everybody. Be kind always, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.